Joining us now, running for Congress against Paul Ryan in the 1st District of Wisconsin is Rob Zerbin. And uh, I don't know whether anybody would have thought that uh, Paul Ryan was a beatable guy in the 1st District, but I now think, uh, Rob, that all eyes are going to be on your district uh, because uh, Paul Ryan uh, certainly is a guy that uh, Democrats would love to beat. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you actually said thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you did a little, uh, <laughs> you may have accidentally done a little Elvis for us. Um, uh, Rob, uh, how old are you? I'm 42. Uh, you, uh, you have a, you know, we got uh, Herman Cain running for president largely on the strength of his success in building uh, Godfather's Pizza into a money making machine. You've, uh, you're a restaurateur working your way up from. Uh, reading your bio from uh, cooking burgers for your family and then uh, working at restaurants and then going to culinary school and now you're a small business owner right you run restaurants uh, I I didn't run restaurants I my companies were uh, more of a contract food service business and I actually sold my last one in 2008 and so I'm, I'm no longer in the industry and uh, since I sold my last business I've just dedicated my life to public service uh, serving on a local county board and um, also advocating for the environment, um, serving on the board of directors for the Wisconsin League of Conservation Voters. And you're the Kenosha County Supervisor, right? That is correct, currently. <laughs> well, the, uh, uh, since the small business owner angle works, um, where did you sell, were the businesses successful? Oh, they were, they were highly successful. And uh, it, was a, it was a great experience. Um, I, uh, I started out small with one location uh, employing 12 people. And over time I grew that into um, uh, a second location and then several satellite locations and, and subsequently or had started a, a catering business in conjunction with it and grew the business to 45 employees, providing excellent benefits uh, uh, to my employees, um, a Blue Cross Blue Shield HMO PPO health insurance plan that I subsidized by 75% so they could uh, participate. And I had over 90% of my employees participate in that plan. Sounds a little communist to me, just a little. <laughs> well, it's, uh, you know, I, I think that uh, corporations and companies and business owners uh, have an obligation, a social responsibility to their employees and to their uh, communities. And, and I think I fulfilled that obligation. What's the way to beat? Paul Ryan, how do you do this? What's the focus of your campaign? Well, you know, we have a, a lot of support here in the 1st Congressional District, and what we're seeing is that the, the people are overwhelmingly rejecting his, uh, his budget proposal, where it rolls, rolls back uh, protections for uh, people and um, also eliminates Medicare and uh, decimates Medicaid immediately. And people are just flat out rejecting this. So I think it's going to be a combination of um, getting our message out, one of uh, alternative solutions, and um, highlighting what his plan would do and how it will affect future generations of Americans negatively. I, I think uh, the Congressional Budget Office came out with an estimate that in, in just the next 10 years, um, his plan would increase the deficit by uh, eight trillion dollars in just ten years, and that's largely due to the additional uh, tax breaks he gives to the richest Americans. And um, it's it's just a bad plan all the way around. Uh, Paul Ryan uh, did not get significantly challenged in uh, in two thousand eight. Anyway, he won handily. Uh, and, that, and what was the results in uh, in in two thousand ten? He won by a wide margin again, I believe. Is there any reason to believe that this can be a competitive race? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, in the DP, the Democratic Party of Wisconsin has uh, admitted that they've, uh, um, the candidates in the past were not uh, widely received. And in this, in this election cycle, what we're seeing is, I, I think we're kind of categorizing it as a, a perfect storm of conditions. We have an unprecedented level of activism in the state of Wisconsin due to the overreach of the Walker administration and the power grab and, and going after collective bargaining rights for, and protections of uh, working families. So what we're seeing is um, this level of activism. We see this toxic plan that Paul Ryan has put out where Republicans are regretting they're voting for it. Um, we're going to have President Obama on the ticket in 2012, and there's a lot of excitement about my candidacy here in the first CD. 
Uh, so we're seeing a, a, a big rallying cry, people getting behind me early on, excited about my candidacy and the prospects of us taking this, this uh, congressional seat back from somebody that has um, managed to hide his true colors, and then with this budget that he's proposed, he just couldn't hide it any longer. How do you mean he's hidden his true colors? Did he appear more moderate throughout? He was first elected in 1998. Did he appear more moderate uh, to Wisconsin, to first district voters uh, before? Well, sh yeah. When, when Paul Ryan first ran for this seat, he, he campaigned uh, that he was the paycheck protection candidate, um, that he would, he would safeguard uh, the, the working person um, and... What we've seen in the first congressional district is we've seen a mass exodus of jobs. We lost the uh, Janesville GM plant recently. That was 5,000 jobs gone. We've lost the Chrysler plant in Kenosha, uh, the Case plant in Racine. You know, literally tens of thousands of jobs have left the first congressional district since he's been our congressman. Where I, I've coined the phrase calling him Pink Slip Paul due to the level of jobs that he's destroyed over the past uh, 12 years he's representing the district. Well, uh, uh, Rob, yeah, I assume that you're just, you know, we saw that what happened in the 26th district there of New York that uh, just hammering away Medicare, Medicare, Medicare was an incredibly effective message to defeat uh, a candidate in a not heavily Republican, but in a Republican district. The demographics of your district, I assume, break down looking at the Paul Ryan has not lost, uh, the, a challenger to Paul Ryan has not gotten uh, less than 43 percent, not gotten more than 43 percent of the vote, and that 43 percent came in his first run back in 1998. Since then, nobody's cracked 40 percent. Uh, I assume the demographics have this as a significantly Republican district. No, I think it's a plus two, uh, our performer, um, and it's, it's, Obama won it with 53 percent of the vote. Oh, Obama, and, Obama won the district. Oh, yes, he, he did. All right, so are you going to hammer away, as I was the question I was getting at there? Is it going to be, are you going to hit the Medicare issue again and again and again? Absolutely. I mean, you know, people need to know what the effects of his plan are going to do. And, and what it does, his plan is repealing the, any kind of protections that people had with the health care law, the uh, PPACA, Patient Protection Affordability Care Act that was passed. He repeals all those protections. Anybody with pre-existing conditions or insurance companies dropping people at any time for any reason, all those protections have been taken away if the Paul Ryan budget were to pass. And then what he does is he goes a step further, creating an entitlement program for insurance companies where he gives this plan would give seniors a coupon to buy private insurance after all those protections have been taken back. So you're exposing seniors to these rapacious practices of a, of a for-profit insurance agency uh, to, to insure our seniors uh, in their golden years when they don't need to be worrying about if their insurance is going to be there for them or not when they need it. So, you know, this is a message that has to be understood, it has to be out there, and I'm confident we'll be able to do that. Rob Zerbin, good luck to you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Rob Zerbin running for the uh, seat held by Paul Ryan, 1st District of Wisconsin. Rob is the uh, Kenosha County Supervisor right now.